I'm in Hayes, Kansas. I was just in IHOP. IHOP, surrounded by ho motels. And I was talking to these young kids, and they were drunk, and they live around here. And I told them I was going to the Barack Obama benefit in Penn State. And, th and they told me to have a seat, drink my coffee with them, eat my pancakes with them. And uh, they basically, What's that? they're all about guns. Why well, Americans need guns is to put food on the table when they can't pay for, the, pay for beef. Guns are used to kill a deer. To put food on the table when you can't afford the meat. And what kind of van vacuum is it? Kirby vacuum. You ever heard of Kirby? No, no. It's 94 years. You want to buy one? No. All right, we'll sell you one. Who do you think you'll vote for this year? Obama. Obama. Yeah. And, and why would you want to vote for because Obama? McCain's too fucking old. He'd like to knock the dust out of his asshole. Name has changed. Oh, well. Yeah. That stands for, right? No. Come help a nigga get elected. Who do you think you'll all vote for? I'm voting for Obama. Yeah. You come from right now? In Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, yes. okay. And uh, and you're supporting Obama, the dead, and Almond Brothers, or just one of the factions? All of them together as a group. I know you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Like, you know, some people, it's rights. It's like we all have a, a right to be, uh, provide some basic needs for each other. Uh, huh? Music. All right. So has Tell them about Jerry. <laughs> Wait, Ella, Jerry's dead or Jerry's in the dead? No, Jerry's dead. Yeah. So Jerry died. <laughs> Are you related to the other dog? Hey, good dog, good dog. Are you related to the bad dog? To look kind of, sort of alike, maybe. Hey, I have a question, question for you? Answer. Okay, so if, if Obama becomes president, do you think porta potties won't smell as bad and the line will be shorter? It's a good question. I think it all has to do with the fundamental policies behind making the American people that much more into it. So today getting porta potties more well widely accepted, you think? Perhaps not more widely accepted, but um widely cleaned. Widely cleaned? Eh, I think it's gonna be the same. Are you from Pennsylvania? <laughs> Redding. Redding. Is Renzi Redding near Pennsylvania? No. Hide the black man. <laughs> okay, so if Obama becomes president, do you think it'll be easier for black men to hang out in Pennsylvania? Uh, no. no. <laughs> you want to know what's going on today? Music, nothing but music, and everything that has to do with the dead music. It's proof that the tribe still lives, the generations mix, and we've never changed, but maybe it's time for change now. I know Abomination? What? what does abomination mean? <laughs> the abomination <laughs> celebration! What is abomination? <laughs> Let's take over the nation! Abomination! Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you see out there? What do I see? Uh, I see preparation for a good fucking time. But that's what I see. That makes them special. You give love, they give love, regardless. And love is all we need? That's it. That's all it is. Love of God. Hey, they're giving love down there to a German Shepherd. Look at She's like, I'll take it. If you can love dogs, then you can love people. I think if a dog doesn't love anybody, if, like a specific, if you go to them and they don't love you, then that person is not a trustworthy person. They dogs, know. Very much. Dogs they exhibit know. better qualities than most people Is that an have. oxymoron? I'm not good with names and songs. I just like to listen to it. I'll tell you and do you think do you think dogs should be allowed on lot? Do you think there, there's too many dogs on lot? Do you think dogs are treated unfairly in lot? What do you think about the dogs? In what? Do you think dogs are a problem in the parking lot at, at dead shows? Absolutely not. They only add 
what's the fun of the atmosphere of the concert itself? No? <laughs> If Obama was was uh, pro, was named president, it would be easier for dogs to hang out in the lot. I disagree. Now, uh, it's hard for dogs to hang out anywhere. We gotta stick up for dogs. So dogs are like the uh, the last on the totem pole. They're treated. They're not last on. Cats are last on the totem pole. No, ferrets are. Oh, ferrets. Ferrets aren't dogs treated are, right, huh? Dogs go uh, with us usually everywhere we go, but we didn't bring hers today because she's 18 years old. Too long. So these are, do you, do you all have dogs? Do you have dogs? I do. And, uh, you have, and how many dogs do you have? One. Well, only one. And you have one also? One. You have one too? Do you have one also? Wow, so you all have dogs. And, uh, and uh, do you wish you had more dogs? I do. Yeah? Now, if Jerry was here, would we vote for Jerry? Absolutely. And has Jerry ever run for anything? That's what I'm aware of. And uh, if he ran for something, would he win? Of course. I'm an old fart amongst the youngsters. <laughs> You're still young. Always. Because Dave Grateful Dead music, it's, it breeds the Always. world. I've been praying for four years that they come back together and tour and now they are in the spring so it's Winnebago forever in the springtime I'm just locking down the job and saying see ya you know the music is where it's at so. lay down last night The good old days. And what days were these? 94, 95. <laughs> Very nice. And this t-shirt is from which uh, stadium? Or Actually, I didn't buy this at a stadium. I bought it at a show that I was not from any particular stadium. But you can see the, the tour on the back. I was at that one. 50th show ever at the Spectrum. 95. Land over Maryland and I was at New that York. one too, the tent. And do you think they'll let firearms and uh, explosives and dogs into the show? Probably, probably not. I hope so. So what does this shirt mean? This means that uh, a long time ago people idolized Jerry Garcia and they uh, just accepted him for what he was and they wanted him to be everything. Political, religious, spiritual. So he signified all the good in he this did. nation. That's what people thought. Wow. Fundamental basic human needs, satisfaction, and working together mutually for, you know, even environmentally, ecologically, sustainably. I think, uh, you know, local economies as well. I think this, the earth doesn't have to be destroyed. And it's, uh, right now, it's like the clash of cultures, you know. A, a capitalistic society starts to, like, emulate the, some of the values of socialistic kind of uh, take it, take our brothers together society, and, uh, and all of a sudden it finds out it's sort of getting into that scene if they want to take the money. Well, they're taking the money. So, you know, it's a better capitalism, anything. Action is what it speaks. Would it be an easier lifestyle in America for dogs if Obama became president? Yes. That was the question. Does he own a dog? Obama? I don't know, but he probably does since he might have children. We'd have more money for dog food. Yeah, because dog food went up $4 a bag. Right, we'd have more money for dog the, the food. The same so. dog food.